Music is a fantastic tool to be able to connect with people who you have never met and may never even hear of in your entire life, and it's an excellent way to explore and process emotions as well as sharing just ideas with the world. And so, what does music mean to you? Cake or the Decemberists? Warehouse by the Dave Matthews Band. The Arcadian Wild? People can have a very wide variety of music taste, some which includes overly bombastic cacophonies of sound. as opposed to this. But that's not to say that either of these tastes are more correct or worse than the other. This is just to say that there's a lot of variation in music, and this is just Western music that I personally have come across. And music can serve as something to bridge the gap between two people a the beginning of a relationship with someone whose music taste I didn't generally like and I because I really love music listening to it and thinking about it I asked this person to share with me their favorite music knowing I th probably wouldn't like it and this person shared with me their music, their favorite music, and I listened to it. And I think that it really affected my feelings for this person and my entire view on the music itself changed. So they informed each other, the emotions that I had for this person and the, the, the way I felt about the music. It is interesting how we use music to reinforce and validate our emotions, even though it may seem odd, because, think about it, why do depressing songs exist? Why do breakup songs exist? Why is that whole genre of, this thing happened and now I feel XYZ about it exist? It's because it's something that we all need. We need to feel validated in our emotions, and what better way to do that than hear it expressed through a song that we love. Say you went through a bad breakup, and now you can listen to how, oh, your ex didn't deserve you anyway, and even though you may not believe it at the time, it can help validate your emotions and push you through to move on even if the fundamental message of the song can be bad, it doesn't change the fact that it helps our emotions. In terms of listening to it, if I'm dealing with some, some bad stuff going on or something that just something very bad has happened to me in my life or something like that, um, I will like to, there's like specific songs that I'll like to listen to that can help me just calm down, get through it, and there have been several situations where that was very helpful. And again, like I said, I've been playing cello for a large amount of my life, and um, it's just, it's affected it greatly and has changed a lot of things for me. Music is complicated, and the reason you love it may be the reason someone else hates it. You may love to just listen to the sounds and not read into it, and I may love to read into the deeper meanings, but that doesn't mean that we have to hate the music, and that doesn't mean that the music itself is bad. That just means that we enjoy it. <laughs>